Well, it's definitely feeling like summer out there. We probably walk outside in some shorts and some t-shirts right now. We're sitting at 84 degrees for here in Colorado Springs. The humidity level is on the drier side. We're sitting at 19% right now, and that could potentially go into a fire danger risk for tomorrow, but nothing has been set in stone as of right now. But those temperatures elsewhere, we're sitting at 90 for Pueblo, 82 for Rye, and out towards the plains, we're creeping up into those upper 80s. Lower Arkansas River Valley, they're sitting in those 90s and they could creep up a degree or two more. But as we look out towards the mountains, they're going to be slowly creeping up into those upper 70s. West Cliff right now, 75 degrees. And this is what our latest drought monitor forecast is looking like. So there's two areas of concern, especially with the heat that we have been having lately. So and those dry conditions. But just north of Denver is the one area we've been watching. And the second is off towards the state line towards uh, Kansas, just east of Lamar. That's the other area that we've been watching. We've seen drier conditions. We've seen warmer conditions, and unfortunately that will continue on. We do have a high pressure system that is sitting over the state right now, and that's bringing us to about 10 degrees above average for this time of year, and that's also impacting the states around us as well. So Salt Lake City could see some record breaking temperatures for today and tomorrow. But as for us here in southern Colorado, that high pressure system will eventually make its way over towards the plains tomorrow. And again, that could bring temperatures around that record breaking point. So for here in the springs, that record is 87 degrees and that's what we have that high at for tomorrow. And again, you can think that high pressure system that we've been dealing with for the past few days. But as we take a look at our fall foliage forecast, this is unfortunately going to affect that as well. This is what current conditions look like right now. We are seeing that past peak color in the Aspen region, and we are starting to see kind of that peak color in that same area. So Leadville in there towards Vail, you're starting to see those golden and orange colors. But as we take a look at this upcoming week, we could see more places with starting to see more of that brown color. But again, we still have a little bit of ways to go. So if you haven't made it out to the mountains just quite yet, don't fret because we still haven't reached peak in too many places. So over the overnight lows tonight, we're going to be in those upper 50s. So it's a little bit of a warmer night than what we have been having. But down in Pueblo, we're going to be 55 degrees, reaching some upper 40s for the plains and for the lower Arkansas River Valley, those lower 50s. As for tomorrow, places like Colorado Springs could see some potential we could tie that record. So that record right now is 87 degrees and we could be seeing 87 degrees again for tomorrow. As for your upcoming week ahead, we will potentially be cooling down on Tuesday. We have a cold front that will be pushing through, but unfortunately that won't last long and we could potentially be back to record breaking temperatures on Wednesday. This is what your hour by hour is going to look like for your Monday. But once we get to the back half of the week, we should be switching back and forth between those 80s and those 70s. Pueblo 93 for tomorrow. I don't think we'll quite make that record, but I put it on there just to show you we could potentially break it. And then on Wednesday, we could potentially break that as well. Canyon City, hot and breezy for you guys tomorrow, eventually pushing into those 90s. Woodland Park, again, warm and breezy for you guys, but we'll be cooling down into those lower 70s by next week.